Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, welcome to my studio. So in today's video I'm going to paint an agate style painting. I will do a little kintsugi piece on this little board. I received some new product from Pen Art. Uh, this is a, an Indian brand that uh, kindly sent me uh, some of their products. So I will link all of the information of these products. But uh, first let me show you what I received. All of the kit that I've received came in a beautiful box with some beautiful brushes and canvases and a little paint board that, that I'm going to use uh, today. This video will be a painting demo. If you want to see the full video, you can now subscribe to my Patreon page where I show every steps and every product that I use in real time. I try to do real time videos so you can follow along with me when I'm painting. So yeah, uh, let's start now this video. I'm going now to prepare my palette and as a palette I will use this little container that I reused. I think this was for, for food. I like to reuse this because it keeps your paint wet. Uh, all the time and you can reuse your palette at any time and then clean them and reuse them. So first I'm going to draw a uh, paint, sorry, a background. Uh, this will be with the same color. I mean like a creamy color. That's my go-to combo if I, if I want to paint some creamy uh, stone. I like to have a little simple background just so I don't have a plain white one and uh, yeah it's easier to blend the color on top of this type of background. Here I have drawn my basic shapes of uh, Kintsugi. You need to have a little uh, reference picture of a broken piece of plate or ceramic because that's what uh, that's the point of Kintsugi so you can uh, have uh, a nice uh, template. So here I'm doing my second coat of paint. Uh, this will be my basic shape of uh, onyx stone, agate slash marble. I like to blend my color uh, as always with a little dry brush. And then we will go uh, over it with some more details and highlights as I, as I always do, sorry. I will only use these four colors to complete all of the painting. So here I'm going to paint a little chilled style with the agate lines that you see. I like to paint uh, each design separately so uh, acrylic does not have the time to dry fast. So yeah, we can build our um, blendings and design easily. And now I'm going to use my little Posca pen to draw some more details and highlights and little cracks in the stone as I always do. And now it is time to add a little bit more color. I've always liked to add a little bit of rusty color. Uh, here it is the rose sienna. And you often see that on uh, stone pictures, you often see uh, these colors. And now I'm adding a little bit more details with my Posca and a little brush. Thank you. 
So I have already made my 3D lines and now I'm going to apply my gilding paste. This is the gold leaf glue. I try to go slower and really take my time to apply it really well. I've added a little bit of uh, red pink ink into it so I know where I have already placed it because uh, it is transparent. And now that my gold leaf glue is fully cure and dry, we can now uh, put the gold leaf on top. And now with a little soft brush, I can remove all of the excess gold and also using my vacuum cleaner to remove all of the little dust before applying my varnish. I'm using also a little tape just to making sure that I've, I have no uh, dust of gold because this gold is a little bit sticky. Now it is time to sign the piece and I will apply two coats of spray varnish in gloss and then I will show you the full result. And here is the full result. I really like the way I painted the edges. I want to thank all of my patrons here who support my channel and follow my art journey. If you want also to support my channel, you can check the link down in the description. Tell me in the comments if you've liked this video. Tell me if you have any question. That's it for today. I wish you all a great day and see you for another video. Bye, bye guys.